Hello there and welcome back to my channel Juella or if you're new here then welcome to my channel. So as you can tell by the title of this vlog this is my glossy box for October. Now it's a beautiful design box but in my opinion glossy box really need to pick up their heels and concentrate more on the products inside a box rather than just the presentation of the outer box. Just to kick off the video there with a bit of a negative spin, but yeah, anyway, so let's just get into this. What is Glossy Box? Well, for those of you who don't know, but I'm pretty sure everybody who watches my channel knows exactly what Glossy Box is. It's a monthly beauty subscription box. It costs £10 a month plus £3.25 postage and packaging, but if you sign up to a 12 month contract, you can get the box cheaper, but you are roped in for those full 12 months. But anyway, this is a box that I am now just dipping in and out of month by month using different codes to get the box a little bit cheaper. So I received this box a couple of days ago now guys and today is Friday and it's the first chance I have had to get it filmed to show you what's inside the box. So obviously I've already had a look through the box to check that everything was there. I know somebody who received the box a few days ago and there was two items missing. They really were not happy. But anyway, yeah. All I'm going to say guys, in my opinion, this is not a fantastic box and Glossy Box are up to some of their old, usual, mucky morals yet again. But if you're interested in listening to me moan on <laughs> about Glossy Box, then stay tuned with this video. But before I get into that, I must just quickly mention one thing. On Sunday, I did a Mask Monday video, as promised, if you watched my Rockerbox video. At the end of the Rockerbox video, I did say, with it being Mental Health Day, which was the 10th of October, that I would chat a little bit about my backstory with mental health struggles, which I do currently still struggle with. Anyway, I thought I would chat about my disorder, because it had been requested several times over the last year or two but I've just always held back from it guys because it always receives negativity when anyone puts anything up to do with mental health, physical health, struggling, emotions, anything. It always gets trolled but I thought right in for a pound in for a penny I'll take the risk and sadly about five hours later I got trolled. So I took that video down because I just it I felt a little bit deflated I put myself out there I opened myself up to all the elements guys which is not easy to do I really opened up I was really vulnerable in that video really didn't particularly cry or anything but I was quite vulnerable and I got slightly trolled and I just thought yeah th this isn't worth it for me guys so I've taken that video down for now but in the future I'm pretty sure I will be touching on mental health kind of matters at some point but just not at the moment but I promise I will in the future again sometime but thank you to everybody who put lovely comments on that video because I had several lovely lovely comments really kind care and compassionate comments and honestly thank you from the bottom of my heart from those of you who did comment it's really really appreciated and to the one little troll who said something really nasty yeah hang your head in shame but anyway that's enough about that so let's get started on this month's glossy box so you could have got two different design boxes you could have got the truth or the secret i got the truth so far this month i have not seen anybody get the secret so please pop in the comments below if you got the secret box but i got the truth which is black and silver beautiful design box but like i've said i think glossy box need to kind of concentrate more on the content of what goes in their boxes just for the theme as well especially um you know as well as the outer box i mean the box is stunning it's beautiful it's a keeper but we don't buy these things for the boxes or at least we shouldn't <laughs> anyway first thing i came across in the box was this little cardboard masquerade mask which is really quite nice and you can pop a little bit of ribbon on it and tie it onto your face if you would like to wear it for anything you know so yeah that is the little mask just a little extra freebie and this is the box this month sorry if you're about to hear any noise my husband's in his little office room next door and he's on the phone and he's talking super duper loud he doesn't realize how loud his voice is it like travels for miles especially if he's on the phone to somebody in singapore or malaysia or somewhere like thousands and thousands of miles away i think he thinks he's got to talk that loud so that they can hear but anyway so this is this month's glossy box i'll eventually get into it guys 
sorry i'm waffling but yeah me, me, me mind's a bit foggy today guys so you get your little leaflet inside as always telling you about the products the price of the products etc and you get a little sneak peek for november now for all i love anything affordable and i'm not just about price tags it's nice to get luxurious items in these boxes absolutely because you know some of us can't afford to treat ourselves to the more luxurious higher price brands but yeah i do like affordable things but in these beauty boxes sometimes it's nice to have a bit of a mix i suppose but next month we're getting an elf product and it's just a little mini eyeshadow palette it's literally just a quad there's four colors in those palettes now i know that they are really good quality i've had a few of them before i've got a few of them haven't got this one though it's like kind of pinks pinky red colors looks quite wearable for the autumn actually but I know that they're only worth about £3. I'm sure the price tag is £3. So the fact that that's the sneak peek for November and it's only worth £3. I'm hoping there's going to be some higher priced items in there, like of higher value. Because like I say, I do know a lot of people who get this box who don't have much money, that don't have a high income at all. And they're relying on these boxes to give them things which are, you know, more luxurious items that they couldn't afford elsewhere because they have such a low income. But yeah, it's it's still a nice, good quality palette, though. I'm not going to lie. I do like ELF, the brand. ELF. Eyes, lips, face, that is. Anyway, so we'll push that out of the way now and let's get started on this month's box. So I'm just going to refer to the card for the prices and that's literally it. We've got a little card here advertising the perfume samples we got last month. Doesn't kind of mean anything, it's a bit pointless, but I think it gives you 20% off. And this is this month's box, guys. Now, for me, it's just not very Halloween themed. I mean, I know everybody doesn't want, you know, bright green or bright pink lipsticks or anything that's like screams Halloween, like greens and purples, I would say, you know, makeup wise. But it's just nothing Halloween-y bar one product. There's one product in here that screams Halloween to me, which is a red lipstick. And as you can tell, I love my red lipsticks. So it's not just Halloween for me all year through. Bright red lipstick. But anyway, yeah, this, I'm, I'm really disappointed in this box, if I'm honest. I really, really am. I'm not going to sit here and sing the praises of it. I just think it's an okay box. And I do have a little bit of a grumble about one item so i'll leave that item probably till the end so the first product is the bright red lipstick and this is by josephine cosmetics it's full size and it is worth 21 pounds 80. what a strange price for a lipstick why can't it just be like 20 pounds or 22 pounds 21 pound 80. and the shade i'm really not sure what the shade is um meet Tif tiffany meet tiffany something like that anyway it's bright red if you don't like blood red you will not like it now is it a matte lipstick it's a bold matte liquid lipstick so matte lipstick guys it's liquid it's actually quite a nice quality one it's really really red it's a nosebleed red um i will love that i can guarantee i haven't tried it on my lips yet but i know i'm gonna like it i can just tell by the color i'm gonna wear it so for me this is a product i am absolutely 100 percent keeping and was it worth paying 10 pound for the box for that one product maybe maybe we'll see what the quality's like if you've actually tried this on your lips let me know if it's got good stain power and if it's any good so yeah just let us know but i'm quite liking that as as i say i love me red lipstick so it's right up my street so first things first i like the first product it's one of the only items i'm kind of thrilled with though second product is i think it's a little highlighter stick so it's a little highlighter pencil by ico i am sick to death of ico products guys i really truly am i see them far too much in these beauty boxes usually the mascaras but still see them too much so this is a little spotlight highlighter pencil it's full size and it's worth 15 pounds and the shade is champagne now i'll just do a little swatch on my hand because i will keep it even though i don't really tend to use these kind of products i will keep it i don't know if you can see it there i really don't know if you can see that but it's nothing special i think if anything it might be good for the inner corner of your eye if you just want to brighten the inner corner up but other than that yeah 
to me that's something that'll get shoved in a drawer or in a makeup bag and probably never see the light of day again for another year but that's just me personally it doesn't mean everybody else is going to feel that way about this one item so yeah just kind of okay nothing exciting it's not actually that bright it's actually quite subtle hopefully you can see it there on my hand <laughs> above the uh sorry beneath the red lipstick because obviously above we've got a bright red lipstick but yeah it's um it's just okay it's nothing special just okay the next product is something i'm probably going to give away because i don't actually tend to use this guys um which a lot of you might be surprised at because obviously i do wear makeup when i'm on camera when i'm in the house and i'm you know not on camera i don't usually wear that much makeup nowadays but anyway it is a set and spray by saint luke's again a brand that i've only particularly seen within beauty boxes rather than on the high street correct us if i'm wrong though if you've seen this brand on the high street please let me know where so this is a saint luke's set and spray it's full size and it's worth 18 pounds i'll get it out of the box but i won't spray it because i'm probably going to give this away or sell it to be honest because like i say i don't tend to use them so it's just a set and spray i don't know what it smells like because i haven't used it if you've got it and you've sprayed it let me know what it's like but i don't like that kind of dewy look on my face if i use a set and spray then i use it very minimal i just don't really use it much so i've got one or two already there's no way i'm going to get through this but if you like set and spray then obviously it's a good product to have so yeah if you've used it let me know what you think of it and pop it in the comments so that's the third product the fourth product even though it's just what i would call a real filler item it's good for this month which is breast cancer awareness month i believe october so this is by anatomicals and it's a boob tube grab your melons body lotion but it's just a little travel size it's only 50 mils now this is only worth literally i think it's just worth a couple of pounds it's worth one pound <laughs> it's worth one pound guys <clears throat> the full size is worth four pounds so this is really just a filler item but i like the fact that they have coupled up with the copperfield breast cancer charity where i think a certain percentage of the money goes to the charity so that's good um and it does encourage you to have a good feel around especially if you're in the shower ladies and and men because obviously it can affect men as well um, but have a good feel when you're in the shower that's the best time to be honest just to check for any abnormalities or any changes or any differences in your breast area and also under your armpit so important so anyway this is a melon body lotion and i haven't opened it yet and i haven't smelled it but i'm going to keep it because i do quite like the smell of the melon things usually oh that does smell quite nice i'm just going to put a tiny bit on my hand there it's quite subtle it's quite light there's nothing inoffensive about it sorry there's nothing offensive about it it's quite inoffensive so yeah i'll keep that product but there's nothing halloweeny about it considering it's october but like i say it does couple up with the breast cancer charity copper feel so i do like that fact about it because it is breast cancer awareness month as well i believe much may have that wrong but i hope i've got that right anyway so the final product this is what i am having a bit of a hoo-ha about and some of you are going to think i'm being pedantic other people will think well actually you're spot on so this is a stress check clean hands by this works and it's 60 mils basically it's an antibacterial hand gel guys this is something you would expect to get for free in a box because considering everything with the pandemic of people constantly using using the hand sanitizer gels and whatnot so this is by this works and it is a deluxe mini worth four pounds now this is my bugbear guys i have noticed that every single pr unboxing that i have watched of glossy box have received an s bar hand cleansing spray worth double the price worth eight pounds this is worth four pounds now I know it's only a £4 price tag difference but it's double in price of what this one's worth and all the PR people have received it. That is not the PR people's fault. <laughs> the fault lies with Glossybox. They need to be sending the varieties out to their PR and they should know that by now after all the recent faux pas that they've been making with these kind of issues. But yeah, every single PR unbox and I've seen the S-Bar product which is a little bit misleading because so far everybody I know who's paid for the box 
has received the This Works item and not the S Bar item. But again, if you've paid for your box and you've got the S Bar spray, pop it in the comments and please let me know. Or if you know somebody with a PR box who got it for free and got this product as well instead of the S Bar, please let me know. But so far I haven't seen any of the PR get this one. Anyway, not to worry, it's a useful product. It's not a wowser product. For me, this should be a freebie item because it's more about keeping your hands sanitised. So yeah, it smells quite nice. I like the smell of these kind of lotions and potions. It does smell a bit alcoholy, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but it has got a little bit of a herbal smell. And yeah, it's not a spray. It's like a gel that you squirt out onto your hands. Whereas the S-Bar one is a nice spray. So it feels a little bit different. It's a cleansing spray rather than just a little hand sanitizer gel. So this is the product that I am particularly disgruntled about. And I know I might sound like I'm being a little bit pedantic, like I've said, but I think I'm well within my rights to give my opinion on that one. And I don't think many people will, as far as YouTubers go, who do these unboxings. I'm not sure how many people will come forward and say what I've said about this item. But anyway, yeah, I'll just leave that one there. So I'm just going to quickly recap the products and then wrap this video up. So we have got the Stress Check Clean Hands Hand Gel, which I am really unimpressed with. Fantastic product to keep your hands clean, but it should be a freebie. That should be an extra. That should not be counted within the five products that you are paying for. Simple as that. Especially not with a filler item worth £1, which they've probably been also gifted for free. I just think that there's two filler items in a box with five items there, so it's a little bit disappointing. I wish they'd put the full size of this one in, considering it's a low-priced item. So that was that. We've got the Saint Luke Setting Spray for makeup, a product I personally won't use, so like I say, this box does not bowl me over, but that's fine. It's not going to be everybody's cup of tea every single month, and I know that and I accept that, and I'm fine with that. So yeah, that'll be getting passed on. Then we have got, where is it? Just getting lost on my desk here. The Ico Spotlight Highlighter Pencil. Just nothing special about it. I mean, you can kind of see it on my hand. It's all right, but there's nothing that kind of screams wow about that for me. It's just kind of okay. Again, a bit of a filler item, in my opinion. And the only item I'm probably going to use out of the box particularly is this red lipstick because I love my reds. And that is it, guys. That is literally the best product in the box. It's also the highest price tag. It is £21.80. Remember that weird price tag, £21.80? I don't know. I sound like a right morning mini today, don't I? Anyway, right, that's enough, guys. Um, but yeah. Thank you so much for watching. If you get Glossy Box, if you got Glossy Box this month, let us know what one you got. Let us know what variation you got. This is variation four, although my email said I was getting variation five. I don't know what the difference is in the variations this month, guys. So far, I've only seen the difference in the hand gel or the spray by S-Bar. They're the only differences I've seen. And I've only seen PR get the S-Bar product. So I would love to see a few paying customers receive the Esper product as well. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments your thoughts on this month's Glossy Box. If you think it's any good, um, if you got it, and if you like it. Other than that, I am going to get going now. And yeah, I'll catch you all again really soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.